testing out the fucking uh, new data plan I got. Hey girlies, hey girlies, hey girlies, hey bestie. Oh, hello, hi, oh, hello, oh, hey, oh, hi. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been the longest uh, break uh, I remember having. I don't know if that's true or not. Okay, so the connection's wonky. We know that much already. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Why did Twitch just decide to do a fucking pop-up notification while I'm streaming? On stream labs, like, shut the fuck up, bitch. What the hell? That's not even one of the notifications that I checked off. What is this bitrate, dude? 200 kilobytes. That does not bode well. It really does not. Where am I even going right now? Oh, I should sit on the swing to smoke. There's a swing. Ooh, this is like pretty well lit. I can show the nature. This is what, 360p? Did I put it at 360p? That's the lowest you can possibly go. I'm not sure if that's what I did. Like I did it and then I forgot. I think I did because I'm like, this is a walk that I'm taking when it's dark and my camera's so shitty. It doesn't really matter if it's 360p because it's gonna be so dark anyway. You can't even tell what you're looking at a lot of the time. It's just me talking for the most part. It's been four days. I don't know if I've ever taken that long of a break before. It's not even on purpose. It's just, just, I don't know, lumpy sack of shit things. Kind of, I guess. What is 200 kilobytes? Why did it go down to 200? It's never done that before. This is a very strange data plan that I'm using. And I'm very concerned, but also, like, the fact that it works at all is quite uh, amazing, I guess. Because, um, it's an international plan. It's the one I've been trying to get for ages. It's prepaid. It's AT&T Unlimited Plus. And I got a SIM card from the United States. And, um... Just today, or I guess yesterday, yeah, it was yesterday now, just yesterday I fucking finally managed to, on my laptop, get it activated. And it's supposed to be 22 gigabytes of uh, fast priority data, and then after that it's like, whatever, but it's supposed to be fast. Depends on the signal and all that shit. There was a light that just went out. I'm gonna sit in the dark, I guess. I don't know, it's just, I, I, I like the swing. It's like a swing for toddlers, I guess. I don't know, it's huge though. It's like a really comfortable swing. I can sit in here. You just, you don't put the guard on it and you can sit down. 200, really? Is this gonna be like my future now? That is so bad, dude. And I'm, I haven't used up 22 gigabytes either. So that's extremely disturbing. Like, what's it gonna do when, I, when I'm out of uh, the 22 gigabytes and it's like not priority anymore? If it's already at 200, like what the fuck? How much worse could it get besides 200, you know? Scuffed ass signal. And now it's way back up. This is, uh, this is annoying. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, 22. It's supposed to be fast for 22 gigabytes and then whatever after that, but I'm assuming it'll be better than what I have. That's what people people said. Like, the light just, it literally turns on and off. Like, there's a street light that literally just all night long. I forgot it does that. And it's totally pitch black when it turns off like that. This is not ideal. Anyway, I have to move on, I guess. No swing for me. If it turns on and off like that. 
fucking con like what's the point of a street light that turns on and off like that that's what i want to know because isn't it actually worse to have it like randomly turn on and off because someone could like be using their bicycle and then they're just biking along and suddenly the light turns off and they fucking crash into the bushes or some shit like i'm pretty sure that could easily happen but yeah i have no idea how it's gonna go this fucking thing People on uh, red flag deals said this is a good option. This is what many people have uh, switched to because Canadian data plans are so fucking awful. They're so expensive. Apparently some of the most expensive in the world. Not the most expensive, I don't know. But that's like a, that's a miserable. So, so far I'm on it and it works at least. Although if I can't stream with it, that's dog shit. Because, like, I was so excited about that. More than anything, obviously. When you have a data plan, what do you want to do on Twitch? You want to IRL stream. For real. I could go downtown and IRL stream and all that. Everywhere. I could go anywhere in, anywhere in Ottawa. It's amazing that it works. It's roaming. It's data roaming. And... It said that um, the U.S., if you're in the U.S., the Plus plan comes with 10 gigabytes of hotspot data, but when I plugged in my phone to charge it, it actually um, created a hotspot on my laptop, so I still get the hotspot somehow, even though I'm not supposed to because I'm in Canada. I can use the internet on my laptop with this phone. It's weird when it's plugged in. I don't know where to go. Is there any way I could sit on the bench and then show the lights? Balance it somehow. I don't think that's possible, though. Well, I guess you could say I'm sad. I have a... Uh, Pretty severe depression since I was 13. That's a kind of a sad. Well, I mean, if I hold it, I can show it. <laughs> I, I can't really smoke at the same time if I'm holding the phone, though. Damn, I need a. I, I need one of those rigs. Oh, it's a long way off from that, dude. It's a long way off from me not just holding the phone in my hand. But damn. Tai Hun's heart. I thought that was like weird random letters at first. I just see Tai Hun's heart. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what they say, I'll sleep when I'm dead. I'll get better when I'm dead. That philosophy can apply to that too. Imagine if I could just be a ghost, no responsibilities, no stress, floating along, drifting along, I guess. I don't know if ghosts can float or they drift or what happens with ghosts. Apparently they can float, I don't know. I mean, there's not even like a certainty that ghosts are real. Uh, but, I, you, you know, it, it could be, you know, could happen. It's just I, I, I am trying to use this to stream in. I still have my 22 gigabytes of priority speed, so I don't have any clue. This isn't that great to begin with right now. I don't know if it'll, um, it'll still work after the 22 gigabytes. It would be really bad if it didn't, because 22 is not a lot. <laughs> it's not a lot for a whole month. Okay, the autofocus is irritating the fuck out of me. Stop it. What are you trying to do? What are you trying to focus on? I need a new phone, for real. This is a very fucked up phone. Like, I've dropped it so many times, and it sucks anyway. iPhone 6 don't recommend no one would if I did any research I would have known I shouldn't buy it that's great yeah the the lens the front 
or is that the back? I guess they call it the back lens. The glass was all smashed, but part of it was still on and it was all blurry and I couldn't use it because it was so blurry. And then I ended up uh, breaking off the rest of the glass and that sort of fixed it. But it's kind of fucked up because it's supposed to have glass covering it, like layers of glass, and there's nothing now. It's just exposed, and I guess it has a focus issue because of that. That would explain it. Or maybe it's just too dark. I don't know what the fuck it's doing. It doesn't always do this. Uh, I've been out here before, and it was fine, but it's, like, too dark, maybe. I don't know how to... Where to sit? Like, where do I sit? Like, that that swing area is totally dark now. I need, like, a bench. I don't know. Well, there's no benches. I guess if I went to, like, a different park area. This just ends, and then it's, like, so dark. Yeah, I can't really go that way. I have to go on the streets. Go around. It's just suburbia here. There's no random benches on the streets. <laughs> I mean, there's the sidewalk and the curb. I just want to find a comfortable place. It's been too long. I have to stream something. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. The bitrate does go up a lot higher at some point, so it's possible that I would uh, still be able to stream. I mean, I really hope so. The stress and trouble that I went through in order to fucking get to this data plan in the first place is just horrendous. It better be fucking worth it. I wasted so much money and it was so awful before trying to use a Canadian data plan and the data runs out really quickly because you barely get anything and you pay a fucking arm and a leg for it too. Some ghosts. I don't think those are real ghosts though. Maybe it's because it's trying to focus but it's being caught on the lights. Well, it's worked before like without an issue. But I think it's because it's just the lights in the distance doesn't work as well if there's no other um, source of light. Like at dusk, I think it works better. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I've, I've, uh, I've, uh, what, what am I saying? I've used up so much data just from listening to Twitch streams. That's literally most of my data. That's where most of it went. And um, after it reduces the speed, it goes so slow that I literally can't even listen to Twitch. Like the audio just barely comes through. Like I get tiny snippets of people's streams and that's it. It's like a, not a good experience at all. So if this actually works, uh, this will be the best. Uh, well, well, I guess, I don't know if it's the best thing I've ever found in my life, but it'll be one of the best things I ever found in my life. I can't wait to fucking go downtown and stream. Sorry to say this, but I gotta go. Love ya, bye. You just met me. You don't love me. No lying allowed. Anyway, bye. I, I think uh, I've almost never seen anyone actually say bye in the chat before. <laughs> they usually just leave. And most of them don't come back either. <laughs> You're just like, uh, you know. There, you know, there's probably lots of uh, different streams you can watch at the bottom of just chatting, like, there's always something new to look at, probably, or at least most of the time. And then you have, you know, the streamers that aren't at the bottom of just chatting that you also watch, so it gets to be so much. I have so many streamers that I like to watch. And, well, 
can I even say watch if most of the time I'm not even watching? I'm just listening. Like, I can't say I watch them. But, you know. I'm in just chatting. So, it, it, it makes sense that, like, you can listen and it's fine because it's just chatting. They're just chatting. Same thing as a podcast. Kind of. Podcasts are just chatting. And I listen to podcasts. Just, uh, it's a new form of podcast for me. Well, how long have I been on Twitch? On and off for like five years now. So it's not new. It's newer. It's a newer thing than podcasts. Podcasts have probably been around significantly longer than Twitch has. I'm not sure, but it makes sense to me that Twitch would be a newer thing. I don't know when it was uh, created. I guess it's been a long time. But podcasts are surely, because, you know, you have the radio. You have radio programs. So podcasts aren't too far off from, like, radio shows. I don't know where I'm going. I was thinking park. That's actually this way, so I can go this way. I'll go to the park. I mean, it'll probably be dark. I don't know. There's, like, lit up areas. There's, like, a school, school grounds with benches, probably. My hands are cold. I should have remembered the gloves. Like, fuck. I'm just holding out the phone and my fingers are gonna fucking freeze off. It's not even, um, it's not even freezing. It's not below freezing, but I have low blood circulation. It's not a good time. Should I just, uh, is this, uh, I don't know what's more interesting here. No, this isn't even, like, visible, is it? The chat is covering the entire screen. I, for the millionth time, forgot. Or is it, like, the third third day that I've streamed and I forgot? It's not the millionth, but it's, like, the third day. So it's a little bit less than a million, to be honest. Yeah, it's a little less than a million. I was kind of exaggerating on that one. I wonder how bad this is going to look if it's 360p. Oh dear. You can, literally the lowest possible setting you can use is 360p. And that is just... I mean, I've tried watching. Just uh, today on my phone I was um, watching Bad Blando in 360p and it was pretty blurry. I'm like, Neh. even on this little screen. Like, it looks it looks good if you don't use, you know, landscape orientation. Landscape orientation, you can see it's blurry. It's pixelated, man. It's not good. You need 480p. 480p is a... Is, I don't know if it's, like, because it's live stream or something. Because 480p is, is damn good. Like, I download Twitch VODs most of the time in 480p. Because I like to mostly just listen. And, uh... It looks good, like, um, it's hard to even remember that it's, it's not 720p sometimes when there's, like, I guess not a lot of movement. They're just sitting there. But yeah, it's, it's great, so I don't know how bad this is going to be with 360p, but it's just not worth the extra data because I'm still on my 22 gigabytes. After that, it's a free-for-all because um, there's no more conservation required since it's unlimited. It'll just be whatever I can get. And um, the best I can hope for is that it works with streaming. I could still stream after the 22 gigs because uh, otherwise this plan will be hella fucking expensive for not the best reasons possible. Like, streaming IRL is one of the most fun things I could possibly think of to do in my life that I can do. You know, that's realistic and not a dream scenario. And I've, I've gone on so many different adventures downtown just walking around by myself. It's time that I took Twitch with me. Because I've seen it, 
I've listened to the music and all that, and I can uh, I can film myself. You know, I've had enough alone time with the music and all that already. And I do love walking around just listening to music and being uh, being alone. It's very peaceful. It's very fun. I don't know what what's this way. Nifty Nebula. I never said the the username of the person who's in here. Well, I'm glad they love me, even though they just met me. Uh, Twitch and its parasocial relationships. I was literally just listening to Ludwig, and he was talking about parasocial relationships on Twitch. <laughs> he's done, you know, he's done a video about it. I am not your friend, and he's so right. It is is definitely incredibly one-sided. Especially the, you know, the really big streamers. Like, for me, it's more of a direct interaction, obviously. It's like, it doesn't really get more direct than this on Twitch. Because I'm just like a zero viewer Anderson, or at least most of the time I'm a zero chatter Anderson. Like, I don't know who lurks here, but at least the, there's not much chatting going on a lot of the time. So if anyone comes in here, I, like... There's a good chance they're going to be the only person who's interacting with me. So it is like a, you know, kind of online friendship in that way. One-on-one -on -one interaction. I guess that's the reason some people would go to the bottom here. The scary thing. The scary part of Twitch. The bottom of just chatting. The scariest thing on Twitch. According to Seer. But then he said... Well, it's all scary and there's psycho shit going on down here. But he said that he he used to be one of those people. So I guess that kind of excuses him. Because it's just like he's talking about his own culture and his own kind. And where he comes from. So, yeah. I would believe that he he's a scary just chatting streamer. Or he used to be. Based on that um, YouTube video I saw a long time ago, where he was doing like a serial killer role play, it all fits, you know. And that demon impersonation I do, that's scary. That's psycho shit. It's also very similar to serial killer role play. Interestingly enough, we have a lot in common, actually. At least from that perspective. Okay, I try to like do the other side and the lens flare is just fucked. There's no point in trying this. Oh, here we go. Maybe I'm just holding it wrong. My fingers are so cold. Where am I going? That's a good question I'm asking just now. Oh, right, the school. I think it's this way. This is an interesting area. It's like a park, but there's also a school here. It's like a big area, you can walk around. I don't really mind going through the 22 gigabytes quickly. I'm, I'm probably already at two gigabytes or very, very close to two gigabytes of data. And this is, um, Wait, when did I start? When did I start using this plan? It was literally like yesterday at sometime past 9 p.m. And it's now sometime past 4 a.m. And I'm already at 2 gigabytes. <laughs> oh dear, dude. Well, I really went ham on that one. I've been watching, you know, videos, not exactly in good quality, like 360p, but also just even listening to Twitch. Like I keep saying, it just drains the data so fast. Just opening the Twitch app, I swear to God, it's like a data, a data suck. It's like the, one of the worst things you can use if you're trying to conserve data like 
that audio only option is total bullshit because it still uses up so much data it's it's like high quality audio so it, it's um you know it's not like it's not like you can mm, select lower quality options for audio if you could do that you could easily use half as much and it would still sound decent enough probably but no they don't care about us little data bitches you know it's not that much more apparently to just watch in 160p and apparently lots of people watch twitch in 160p i guess also on their phones which is like wild i never knew that i never used to do that like this whole data bullshit has uh has only come into play very recently. I started watching Twitch on 160p. And then I stopped because like, it's just so blurry and the audio is actually much worse. So I might as well just listen in audio only mode and have like a good quality audio. I could sit here somewhere. Oh, there's the school, finally. I found it. It's so easy to get lost in suburbia. Especially in the dark. All these long, winding streets, and they, they all look the same. Especially in the dark. Everything just the same. All the fucking parks. The schools. Like, everything just looks like each other. You could be in a completely different area, and if it was dark enough, and maybe you were like drunk or something, <laughs> you would never realize it. It'd be so hard to know where you actually are without, you know, checking your GPS location. Seriously, I need a glove. Oh my god, it's horrible. Oh, that's so cold. I need to at least switch hands and try to warm this hand up. Oh fucking hell. I got long sleeves, but I can't really use the sleeve if I'm trying to hold the fucking phone up. This is a great stream. This is great, great use of my data right here. For sure, dude. YOLO. Fucking YOLO, dude. Why the fuck not? Just go into the darkness. I'm trying to show, like, this backyard. There's, like, Halloween decorations. You can maybe see there, just like a light up ghost. Oh, and it's got flames on the bottom. That's interesting. Yeah, it's got flames for some reason. Interesting. <laughs> well, it must be kind of trippy to have that here. There's like a play structure you can't see here. Like if you're playing on the play structure and it's kind of dark, you'll just be staring at this. Actually, it's not one ghost. Oh, there's multiple ghosts. They're all just together. <laughs> I used to listen to the Scott Mills or is like the, well, it's like the, the talking parts, I guess, of the Scott Mills uh, BBC radio show. Uh, Br British Broadcasting Corporation. Back when I was just only listening to podcasts, and I wasn't, uh, wasn't, what? well, I guess if, you're, if I'm walking around, I don't really listened to Twitch until very recently, but I don't know, I was just, I was listening to so many podcasts back then. I guess they were just like more uh, from uh, actual radio shows. Now the podcasts are, you know, I have iTunes on my phone, so it's really easy to find a bunch of different podcasts to download from iTunes. Anyway, he uh, he and his host would always um, end conversations with "Love you, bye," 
love you, bye, love you, bye. And then they'd act offended if the person they were talking to didn't say it back to them. They're like, okay, I see how it is. It's funny. The way that people say that so arbitrarily. Like someone <laughs> you, you, you just saw for the first time on Twitch. Just say, love you, bye. Like, you, you, what? I've never even seen you here before. What do you mean you love me? Anyway, there's a car there. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, that's unnerving. That's unsettling. That's disturbing. Okay, why am I still walking around? I guess I'm exploring Psst, the playground. I don't even know, like, what all this is. Is this all for the school? I guess maybe it is. I should probably just sit down. Like, actually, I don't want to sit here because of the weird car. Weird because why is it here? There's no other vehicles. Certainly no reason to be here right now. Recently I was here and I realized that I actually used to come here when I was in elementary school because there's a skating rink here and we would come here from Queenswood Public School and Queenswood Public School actually closed down years ago and now it's a Catholic school so that's fun I'm glad I didn't go to a Catholic school yeah we used to come here and I think this is like where we would have a locker room to put our skates on and all that. Some kind of weird garden here. I've seen teenagers here before. Well, you assume they're teenagers, I don't know. It's very bright. They obviously don't want anyone loitering there. But yeah. Just looks like a strange liminal space. If you don't know what liminal is, look it up. It's interesting. Liminal space is that whole concept. Like uh, being inside of Walmart doing like a 24 hour challenge when it's closed. That would be a liminal space that you're inhabiting. It's like what I what I think of is like uh, it was totally dark here. I have to. Oh, I don't know where I can sit. That there's got a bit of light to it. Oh man, just getting away from the car. What was I saying? Fucking hell. Uh, oh god. Like, right. If I'm dreaming, and um, I'm just wandering around in my dream, and I'm outside. For some reason, I feel like a lot of times when I'm outside just wandering around in my dreams, it's dark. So it really feels like a dream when I'm walking around like this. Because this is exactly what I see in my dreams too. I'm just completely alone and it's just like a strange atmosphere. Like this looks very strange. It feels strange. You know, it's empty, it's dark, there's strange lights. It, it, it feels like kind of a different realm like it's not uh, our reality it's some kind of alternate reality something that's almost like the planet earth almost like our world but not quite there's just something off about it that's what it feels like to me and uh very interesting to just walk around when most people are asleep and it's empty and it's dark it just like it's like sleepwalking I think so yeah no places to sit down there I should stop uh, going into the wind because I will get frostbite or something I swear to god my fingers are protesting. I think it's supposed to be above uh, above 0 Celsius. 
I don't think it's supposed to be exactly freezing cold, but the wind really um, is doing something, something awful to my exposed hands right now. So, yeah, I was walking into the wind just like letting it do whatever it wanted to me and I didn't even think maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe that's a bad idea to freeze my fingers off right now. Maybe that's not the plan. Okay. It's so strange to suddenly have, well, at least supposedly now the ability to stream from anywhere and just walk around anywhere I want. I'm just hoping it'll still be possible after 22 gigabytes because then I can just all month long I can IRL stream I could just live the dream this is a okay it's not a good bit rate all the time but many IRL streamers have that problem it's not just me even people in the United States you know I don't know how many streamers do IRL streams in Canada because it is fucked up in here we got the most expensive data plans, and we don't have good connections either, so it's just too big of a country. There's a lot of empty space. I think H explains it pretty well. Like, I didn't even understand what the issue was until I heard him talk about it. Because he was, you know, cycling across Canada, so obviously he's very familiar with this shit more than I am. Yep, there's the uh, skating rink where I was uh, skating around as an 11 year old. Interesting stuff. I don't know if I used to do it uh, earlier than that. I have like, you know, not the best memory ever. Pretty bad memory. Oh, that focusing issue. Anyway. I mean, I was going to Queenswood Public School from grade three, I moved in the middle of grade three, and then I went from grade three to grade six, and then I graduated. So potentially I could have been using the skating rink here for about three years, uh, ages, what would that be, like, like nine to eleven maybe? Yeah, that seems right. Oh, I that vehicle again. I don't want it. Ugh, walking on. Eventually I will sit. Maybe I could sit on the swings here. Or are they those annoying ones that are like for toddlers? I don't even know. Oh, they're not. Okay. Well, I could... Oh wait, the lighting's not good. Why why didn't I even think about that? Unless I filmed the the ghost exclusively, but I can't really do that cuz that would be from the side. Okay, I have to be able to put this down while I'm smoking. There it goes back down to 200. But you know, it doesn't stay there that long anyway. I mean, I've I've watched so many IRL streams, and the focus too, like, I desperately need a better fucking camera, dude. This is trash. I don't even realize it, because I'm not looking at what I'm filming through the fucking screen. And then I'm like, oh, whoa, it's been blurry this whole time. Like, how long has this been fucking blurry for? <sighs> Dear God. They really don't want people sitting around being hooligans here. Like, the light is directly above the bleachers. <laughs> or maybe they think it's just convenient lighting. I don't know. I think about these things. Like, I learned about... Um, I don't know if it's called static security or passive security or something like that. Structural security. Well, I took police foundations. Oh, was I covering up the mic? Sweet Jesus. 
I don't know. I'll never know because no one's here to tell me. But anyway, I mean, if I ever watch the pod, then I'll know, which is, like, not exactly useful. Like, I need people to tell me shit while it's happening so I can fix it, you know? And I just, like, wait till I realize that something was probably going wrong. And then, you know, sometimes I literally have no idea if it is or not, and I can't know. Like, if the video and the audio both are fucked, and you literally can't see or hear anything, like, I'll just not know. And if no one ever tells me, I'll just end up fucking up the entire stream. Which is, um... Just an experience that'll never stop happening, I guess. I don't know, it depends. Like, maybe at one point I'll get popular enough that there'll be at least one chatter in all my streams to tell me this shit, you know? I can only hope for that level of fame. When I have one chatter at least at all times, that would be the day. Just wandering around trying to figure out where to go. So, like, what was I gonna say? Did I just start saying so like for no reason? My brain just deletes things all the time. Just deletes it before I can say it. It's like being, like, uh, not being, having, having your brain erased, having your memory wiped. Yeah, there it is. Having your your mind wiped clean of just that thought that you might have been having or I don't even know if I was having a thought or not, but it's gone. And that's the thing that happens with names that I'm trying to remember a lot of the time. If I'm trying to remember a name, it usually won't come to me. Like I was trying to remember... Colin Farrell's name from True Detective and I thought Russell is it Russell something with Russell in it and I guess it makes kind of sense because Farrell and Russell are similar they're similar names so it's not too wild of a leap but still like why was I thinking Russell I was thinking like Russell Peters or something I don't know it's Colin Farrell. It's, it's, it's pretty different. And then I was thinking of uh, Rachel, which I guess Rachel McAdams, but I only remembered Rachel. But I did actually remember her first name, so that's a step in the right direction for sure. I think that's pretty impressive for me. At least I remembered her first name. I'm so trash with names. <laughs> And uh, Matthew McConaughey, when I was talking about him, I said Woody Harrelson. When I was talking about him a while ago, about True Detective, and I said Woody Harrelson. And I was like, I think it's Woody Harrelson, because he was in the, you know, Matthew and Woody's names are both together on the intro to True Detective. So they they start together as a team, so I just had to guess that Woody Harrelson was the right one that I was thinking of. And I heard the name Woody Harrelson before, that's a pretty famous actor. So I'm like, well, yeah, he's a pretty famous actor. Probably is Woody Harrelson. It sounds right, but obviously it was wrong. It says, uh, co-actor, Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> That's who I was talking about the whole time. Oh, someone's got a purple window. It's it's kind of visible, actually. If I get closer, lilac, you could say. I love it when people have, like, really nice LED lights in their windows that I can see. I'm like, I would love to have that cozy bedroom. I wonder what it would be like to live in that house instead of the shit house I live in. I could get, theoretically, I could get, you know, twinkle lights that are purple, maybe. I've seen those outside uh, in someone's front yard for Halloween. They have really cool purple uh, twinkle lights. I could get some of those and put those on the tree 
that's always in my bedroom, the fake tree. Right now I have like kind of harsh white-ish um, LED lights on the tree. And I could easily just uh, put the twinkle lights on. Uh, it does not look as good, I guess because of the grain and the the way the camera captures light. It looks more lilac in person. It's a nice, uh, nice shade. Okay, I really have to sit down and just do this already. And then leave because I'm too cold. I need, uh, gloves. I need gloves. I can't hold the phone with my bare hands like this. Actually, where... Where was I coming from, even? The fuck? I get lost so easily. It's so sad. Was I coming from here? Did I go all this way? Really? Or was I going from the other way? Oh, Jesus, I am lost. Everything looks the same. It's the fucking curse of suburbia, dude. Was I approaching the window? Okay, no. There's a bench here. I don't know if it's the same bench. It doesn't matter. It's, it's a bench, so that'll work. Let's see if I can flip it around. Oh, that's okay. Well, it's, you know, not that good. It's a light of God, I guess. That's what you get. Holy shit. <laughs> it's so scuffed. This is some of the worst possible lighting. Oh my god. Yo, just torturing my hands for no reason. Streaming to nobody. And I don't even have anything uh, remotely substantial to say either. Now that I finally finished rambling on about data plans. It was a very exciting thing that I figured this all out for myself. That's amazing for someone who's such a, you know, procrastinator who doesn't really accomplish many things ever. I had help. I had some help, but I figured out most of it myself. Like, I figured out what kind of plan I should use and all that. It was mostly just me who did everything and figured everything out. So, yeah, I'm amazing, basically, and very smart, and also... Actually, I am kind of a good Twitch streamer in the sense that I'm very dedicated to it. Like, I'll go go a long way in order to keep uh, putting out these garbage-ass streams for no apparent reason. But, you know, you admire the dedication, at least, if nothing else. Keeping this in my pocket, look at that. Power bank. It's so cold now. There's no way this phone wouldn't die immediately without a power bank. Hopefully it's not going to die with this power bank. No, it's it's charged up. I've uh I've had so much trouble using it unplugged. Like it just dies and it won't turn back on until it's warm again. It's it's you know, I need a new phone. What else can I say? But at least I have a power bank now. Very, very late in the game, I have a power bank. There's this cool little um, black plastic bag. Very classy, very chic. And um, that's what they put my weed chocolate in at the store. And the pre-rolls. I'm going to finally get around to smoking one with a very good angle. I don't know if I can try to stand it up, if that would even remotely work at all. I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't think it's worth the trouble. I don't know. Like, I can't balance it. The pop, the pop socket isn't exactly stable. It kind of, the phone is just tipping over. It won't hold up. I think maybe because it's not in the middle. I'm an idiot, honestly. Why did I not put it in the middle? 
I really just wasn't thinking about what I was doing. Okay, I don't know. There's nowhere else I can really put this. This is not gonna... It's not gonna work. Just the most wormish slug angle possible with the folds and everything. Oh, it just dropped. Oh, it's going back up. Okay. And who... Who is here to tell me if it's working at all? Nobody. I'm here to not know. And to stream to nobody. But you know, big victory. This is one of the biggest victories of my life. I've had very few victories of any kind. And if this data plan works out and I can just IRL stream literally all month long, every month, then, uh, wow, that's a whole new uh, chapter of my life opening up. Very exciting and fun stuff. Could go anywhere. Okay, I got weed on my fucking screen. <sighs> Get off! Okay. So, uh, yeah, it's just like shedding everywhere. There's so much random stuff falling out. Because it's not tied up at the end. It's just loose at the end. And all the weed is just falling out <laughs> into the fucking uh, container. It's going everywhere. Right. Hurry up and do it. Fucking hell. <laughs> Oh, not enough. God damn. I'm using my weed-themed lighter for the weed. Classy stuff. It's like not even... Like, it's so blurry, this lens. Everything's very fucked up. Hope this doesn't go in my eyes. Okay. I don't know where the wind is going. I, I'm getting ash on myself already. Jesus. I don't know where to, like, fucking aim this, this shit. I guess this way. Ooh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of epic. Look at me go. Wow. This is actually a short film. What should I call this short film that I'm making right now? Weed in the park in the dark. Weed in the park in the dark. <coughs> okay. <coughs> That's a... <coughs> oh, I'm getting fucked, dude. My throat is fucked. <coughs> My throat is fucked. Oh, God, it's fucked. Oh, oh God. It's fucked. Oof. doesn't taste bad, though. This one's not bitter. For some reason, even though it's the same. They're all supposed to be, you know, the same kind of pre-roll. But I was tasting some real bitterness on some of the other ones, but not this one. This one actually tastes like wedding pie, kind of. Like, I don't know what wedding pie tastes like. I've never even heard of it before this. But it could be wedding pie much more realistically than some of the other ones I've smoked in the box. My fucking bag just blew away, but it's not too far. I'll have to go get it. Oh, so cool. I'm so cool. Wow. So cool that I'm like so cool and niche that Nobody watches me. That's how fucking hipster and niche I am, you know? I'm, like, so niche that nobody even knows I exist. Like, how sick is that? Like, I'm so niche that literally no one on Twitch even knows I exist. And I stream here, like... This is one of the most indie hipster streams on the platform. Wow, think about that. Like, how great and how lucky are you to be here to witness this niche indie hipster stream? 
live on Twitch. Mm, this is actually good. I don't know what the fuck was going on with the other ones. I don't know if my 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 taste just changed somehow today. I don't know. But this tastes good. This actually tastes good. This tastes sweet. This tastes like it actually could be dessert. I don't know why. It's just good. <coughs> it's going up my fucking nose, dude. My nose is burning now. Fuck you. Fuck. Smoke went up my nose. Oh. Okay, it's definitely done now. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, buddy. Oh, the phlegm. Oh god. The phlegm. Oh, the phlegm. Oh. Oh, I'm disgusting. I'm a disgusting creature from the swamp. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm literally a slimy swamp creature. I got slime oozing out of my nostrils and going down my throat. Because I'm a swamp creature. Oh, I'll show the fit. The, the OOT, the outfit of the day. The fit of the day. Today's fit. Very epic. I got these new th shoes that were handed down from someone who got them from a thrift store. So they're third hand at least. These are at least third hand. Very cool. Very fashionable. Fashion forward. And um, we got socks on over my sweatpants. And these, interestingly enough, are Aeropostal New York, the sweatpants that, um, you know, tween girls love to wear, or at least they used to. When I was a tween, I saw many tweens wearing that, you know. Got the socks. Um, these socks are designed by Walmart. I don't know um, what brand they're under, but they're designed by Walmart. And there's my shadow. Where's the fucking bag? Oh, there it is. It's probably all covered in fucking dirt now. Ugh. Anyway. I mean, I really fucked up my throat and my nose, but that was probably the best uh, joint I've had so far for some reason, at least, you know, from this box. I don't know what's going on. Why is my sense of taste different or it's just particularly good for some reason? <clears throat> really hit hit the spot, aside from all the burning and coughing and phlegm, you know. <laughs> if you ignore all that, then it really hit the spot. I have this um, pocket here, very convenient <laughs> for my power bank. And there's a pocket on the other side if I want to put my uh, phone in there. Okay, I'm probably going to get lost. I mean, maybe I won't get lost. You know, I've wandered here so many times. Maybe there's not as much of a chance that I'll actually still be getting lost if I've been here so many times before. What the fuck? Why is it so dark? Like, there's a light. Okay, I don't know why. Maybe it's just, like, shadows that really fuck with the camera. Because there's like a light on the pathway. It shouldn't be pitch black. Oh, my throat. Wow, listen to that shit. There's someone's kitchen. I'm guessing it's like... Maybe for security. Wouldn't that be wild if I zoomed in and then suddenly people appeared? That would be fucking hilarious. It's a white kitchen. How? I'm trying to... It, it's not... Okay. Okay, there we go. Literally, the chat is just... is completely covering the screen like I need to stop forgetting to fix that it's not that hard to fix I'm sure or maybe it is and and, and I'm fucked I don't know okay fuck hell fuck fuck hell fuck hell 
I keep accidentally, like, clicking on things and, like, tapping things just, like, fucking pop up on this phone all the time. Oh, I forgot what side it was on. Flip camera, bitch. There we go. Anyway. Ugh, oh, there's so much shadow. I don't know what to do. There's, like, maybe it's the lens flare. It's probably the lens flare. This is hard to film. Ooh, that really looks cool. Well, I mean, why do I think that? I don't know, but it does to me. This is like kind of a cinematic experience. This has been kind of a cinematic experience today. Maybe it's because I'm moving around. I'm not just sitting in, in one place, you know? There's different shots I can have, different settings. Wow. I'm killing it. I'm killing it, sis. Look at my hat. My hat is also killing it. What beautiful color. This is the color of autumn, burnt orange. This is, um, not lens flare. I mean, really. It's either, like, blinding or it's pitch black. Like, there's no in-between. It's, it's either you're gonna go blind or it's gonna be pitch black. And it's like you already went blind. Anyway. I was so fucking excited when the data plan actually turned out to work. Because it was like, I was sort of fiddling with it. And I'm like, oh god, this isn't going to work. And it's not refundable. The prepaid plan is not refundable. So I would have spent, you know, 75 USD for nothing. Which is, you know, and then I also would have not had a solution after trying to come up with one for so many months, for fuck's sake, dude. And especially after I lost internet access, I mean, now it's, it's just uh, the data plans and public Wi-Fi, and that's it. So, uh, yeah, it's very exciting. I've come to really enjoy listening to Twitch streams and even when I'm out, I can do it like, it's such great entertainment and it feels like I'm being kept company. And it's different when it's like live, you know? Like whoever's, wherever they are, I'm here and we're both experiencing, experiencing the world together in completely different places. But in a way, we are together. It's kind of uh, cool. <clears throat> Plus, it's just more entertaining than podcasts a lot of the time. Twitch is really fun. Most of the time, podcasts are more, you know, laid back. Because you can't really interact, I guess, as much. When you're um, recording a podcast, you're not usually talking to chat or anything like that. You know, there's no TTS. It's just not the same. And some podcasts do have chat, but most of the podcasts don't. At least that I listen to. Curtis Connor has a great podcast. Very, really good. Um, and he's usually alone. And I actually prefer that for a podcast. I really like it when someone just has time to give their thoughts uninterrupted. And just, it's free-flowing. It's one of those rare opportunities to listen to someone talk with no interruption and no um, feedback. So they're just, it's like they're, you know, they're alone with their thoughts completely. And um, I find that really cool, especially since I'm alone, too. So I feel like we're alone together, I guess. Solitude. And um, I don't know if he still does this, but for a very long time, at least, he, he, he's uh, been saying, that's funny. At things that he said himself so like 
he says that's funny to jokes that he made himself on the podcast and just like things that he thinks he said that are funny he just goes like that's funny and I don't know if I've noticed it so much lately I'm not sure if he's still doing it or not but definitely for a long time at least he was if not now and I just think that is hilarious the fact that he like I don't know where I am but um, I'm going to roll with it because, uh, you know, I'll figure it out. Yeah, eventually I'll get somewhere. I'll be at some kind of uh, place. I'll try to film this way. It's really, I don't know if it's interesting at all to see the same shit, you know, in suburbia. I tried to flip the camera. It didn't work. Okay, I'll, actually, this is more comfortable. I'll do a nostril stream right now. How about a nice nostril stream, courtesy of a girl with yellow spoon for inventing this. Credit goes to her, nostril streaming. What a, what a smart, fantastic idea. I don't know if I could show, like, decorations if they would show up. There's some Halloween decorations here. Maybe it is, but it's fucking trouble focusing. Also, it's hard for me to zoom in because the fucking chat text is literally covering the entire screen. Oh, you can kind of see that. Yeah, that's okay. Anyway, so I do this all the time where I go for a walk and I don't really care about getting lost. I used to get lost all the time. My shadow just completely blocks out any light. <laughs> like, it's not like it's pitch black here. It's just the way that the shadow is. It's so dark. What was I saying? Fucking hell. What was I saying? Well, yeah, I like to wander around and get lost, I guess. It's actually fun to get lost. I kind of enjoy feeling like I don't know where I am. You know, new locations are interesting to me. It's like more exciting. It's a different kind of adventure. Okay, now I don't know where I am. Well, I didn't know where I was before either. Okay, so I continue to not know is what I mean. There's a way to, you know, go through the park and come out the right way. I'm sure it wouldn't be too hard to figure it out. I'm going back in. This is what I have to do. I don't really know where the streets would take me. I know where the park pathway is, kind of. But all these fucking streets just get you so lost. I don't know if it's better to try to fill the other side kind of spooky. I mean, it is, you know, appropriate. Appropriate for the season, you know, the spooky, completely empty except for me, park. If only it didn't do that annoying. Like, how much of this has been blurry and I haven't even realized it? The text of the chat is so fucking annoyingly obstructive. I can't see, I can't do with this shit going completely across the screen. Like, why? I have no idea how that happened. Hopefully I can fix it. I mean, most of the time it hasn't been like this, so probably I can fix it. Okay, is this the right direction even? I literally am not paying any attention. Another spooky window. It's so strange to see into people's houses and there's like lights on, but there's no one there. It's just you and the light inside their house. They just leave it on, another kitchen light. Oh, did it even, uh, 
capture that with the bitrate. Fucking it was low. I don't know. I keep thinking about how cold my hand is. It is so freezing. I should switch it to the other side, I guess. Ugh, oh, that one's cold too. God damn. They're both just pretty cold. And also, I don't know if this is the right way or where the fuck I even am. What is this? Oh, this is the wrong... Wait, is this the way I, I'm supposed to be? Am I going the wrong direction? Am I actually supposed to go this way? Oh my god. I could easily do this for another half hour, probably. Let's be, let's be real about that. I think I need to cross here. I'll figure it out. De Jane S. Oh no! Why is there water here? What the fuck? It's soaking. Ew, it's muddy. Oh my god, what the fuck? I had no idea it was soaking like this. I, I guess it, I wasn't paying attention to the weather. Maybe it rained a lot. I mean, it's been overcast for um, most of uh, like eight days now or however long it's been. It's just been a lot of rain and a lot of overcast skies. What does Dejane S mean though? That must be an emote, but I just see Dejane S. So I have no idea what I'm, uh, what I'm supposed to see. It's so annoying how it's like none of the emotes show up, so I'm just reading the names. It's not even focusing, is it? It's blurry. Oh, come on, man. Don't be like that. I can't even tell if it's blurry, like, easily because of the fucking chat text covering the entire screen. So fucked up. Am I going the right way? What the fuck is this shit, man? I'm so lost. It all looks the same in the dark. The trees, the fucking grass, these pathways, the houses. None of it looks different from each other. There's no landmarks. I don't know where I'm going. Like, I literally have no idea where I'm going. What the fuck is this now? Oh, we're back to the... Yeah, this is not actually the right way. I mean, what if I went this way? Could I find my way out? I don't know if I want to test it or not. Like, I don't know what street this is. <laughs> I'm so bad with directions. It's not even fucking funny. I have no idea where I am right now. What is this? What is this and where am I? At least I can try to fucking hold the camera a little better. Yeah, or do a nostril stream. Face it the other way. Now that I'm out in the open, I think the shadows will be gone. Where am I? I keep asking that question. Oh, I know where I am now. Now, to remember which direction I go, this direction, I think, this way. Even if I've been here, like, so many times, the fact that uh, suburbia all looks the same means that I can still get lost pretty damn easily. Especially in the dark. So, just remember the gloves next time, I think, is like a, the main takeaway. At least for the first 22 gigabytes a month, I can stream apparently. The bitrate hasn't been too awful. Like I said before, I've watched many streamers IRL stream and I think it's generally accepted that there's going to be problems 
anytime you try to go IRL, especially if you don't have the most expensive possible shit. Which I definitely don't. I have a, just the very scuffed. That's that's um pretty much always how it's gonna be for me. Like every every time I streamed on Twitch, there's different reasons for why it's been a scuffed stream, like my technology, my internet the way that I don't provide the exciting Twitch content that consumers crave. <clears throat> My throat's still <clears throat> oh it's 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 um it's uh flaming up from that joint. I don't even I don't even know if it's focusing. I think it is. Okay, this is boring now for sure. Ooh, maybe this this, uh, this could be interesting to film. <laughs> oh my god, the bus is already out. Fuck, dude. I hate that. It's not even light out. Fucking OC trans poo. Awful. Awful buses. Some of the worst public transit you'll ever... you'll ever find. I don't know if I can go in this way. I'll try. I'm not sure where I'm going. Oh, it doesn't look like uh, there's gonna be light there. Just like, well, there's something. Maybe it is a, there's a pathway in there. It's so dark. I'm going into a forest maybe, but maybe not. Probably am, yeah, I think so. I can see lights. That might be from way in the distance, so yeah. I just wandered way into the forest. Well, I was going into the forest, that direction. Okay. I'm gonna keep walking. Well, I was going into the forest and then I went back out. Was that an emote that you put before? You're still here. What is Jane S? What emote am I supposed to be looking at? Okay. I really don't want to get frostbite from holding this. Fingers are vulnerable. <clears throat> so. I wish I had this, uh, this data plan in the summer, when it was warmer, I could have gone all around the city and uh, streamed on Twitch. God damn, I was in my backyard, I remember now, for like months, or at least weeks, quite a few weeks, I was just in a backyard on a tablet just sitting there, wasting the summer away. To be honest, yeah, like if you're just sitting in one place, that's not what, that's not what is fun for me. Like walking all around the city would have been so much more fun if I could take Twitch with me and do that. Like when it's warm and I'm not gonna freeze to death or my fingers are gonna fall off or whatever. You know, a nice reasonable warm temperature. I went all around. Um, before I came back to suburbia, I was in the west, in the east a little bit, but mostly downtown in different areas. And I... I just uh, explored the city by myself and I would go for walks that lasted all day sometimes. Like uh, six hours even. You know, I don't know exactly how long some of my walks were, but definitely more than most people would ever want to do because I just love walking around so much. and. I, I do get tired, but I just want to keep going because I'm so interested in 
my surroundings. I think I should hold it up. This is like terrible. Like, <laughs> yeah, I should hold it up. And I just love exploring. Like, I'll walk, I'll start walking, and then I just see all this stuff. And maybe it's because I have ADHD. I don't know if I have ADHD, but I've been thinking it's probably likely I do because I just have so many of the symptoms. And like, one of those is like, I, I just zero in on something that looks interesting or intriguing in some way. Be like, ooh, what's over there? Where does that go? What is that? And then I go just walk off in that direction to look at whatever was interesting over there. Like I'll see Halloween decorations and I'll wanna go down that street to look at the Halloween decorations. And um, yeah, I've gotten lost and wandered around because of that quite a bit. Cause I'll see something interesting and then like a squirrel will dart off and, and then I'll forget where I was going and what direction I'm supposed to be in and you know. And I'm always just exploring or at least, you know, most of the time when I'm on a walk, I'm, I'm just going wherever I want and whatever I feel like looking at. So I just, I don't have a set route or anything. And so um, it ends up taking a long time because I do have all the time in the world. So that's a dangerous thing to have when you're just so prone to just lo like zoning out. Like I basically just zone out and then I just, it's like I'm sleepwalking almost. Like I'm not really thinking about where I'm going. I'm just like, I want to see all this shit and just keep walking forever. And so that's how I end up walking around literally for like six hours or maybe longer sometimes. I don't even know. It's like I, I'm, I get so tired and I'm like completely exhausted. My feet hurt so much, but I don't stop walking for so long past that tiredness pain point sometimes just because I'm having so much fun. I just love wandering around so much that being tired and feeling pain doesn't really affect me that much. I guess I'm also used to it from long distance running, like my endurance and my pain tolerance and all that are pretty, pretty good. And, um, you know, it's actually, I guess physical exertion is very enjoyable to me and also being outside is. And it's so much more interesting for me to be outside than stay indoors. There's someone power walking behind me. It's fucking suburbia, dude. It's so early in the morning, it's still dark outside and there's bitches out here power walking. Oh my god, I'm so scuffed. I really can't, like, like, the fact that the lighting and the camera suck combined with the fact that it hurts my fingers because it's so cold, the wind is blowing on them and they're exposed. It hurts my fingers to try to hold it properly to get like a better quality photography. Oh, this is weird. It's so bright. My, my face is like glowing from the light. <laughs> Where am I going now? That's the real question. I think this is, this, uh, yeah, this is where I usually go to get to a shortcut through a park to get back to my street. Okay, I was just like autopiloting that shit. Cause I've, uh, I've gone down here so many times now after running for hours. I go down the street and I take this shortcut, so my body was just autopiloting myself through here. Oh, we got some nice lights if they'll focus. That will be some nice lights here. Oh, I thought I flipped the fucking. God damn it. There we go. I wonder how much of this will even be in focus for fuck's sake. I can't tell what I'm doing. 
because uh, there's just too much text covering the entire <coughs> entire fucking screen. So yeah, it is blurring. It's blurring a lot. Ugh, it's probably terrible. Never mind the fact that this is in 360p, but also the fact that it's probably blurry a lot of the time too. Like goddamn. I really did my best to make this the worst possible viewing experience you could have. Anyway. That was some nice weed. I mean, it made me cough and made me start having a runny nose. Oh, and the sky is also overcast now as well. Like, it's, it's literally been over a week, I'm sure of it. <clears throat> Must have been over a week now. It looks pink, actually. Not on, uh, I, this does not look at all pink on the fucking shitty ass camera, but in real life, it looks pink. It's like really cool. It does not look like gray and shitty. It looks really cool. Like it's literally like a nice bright kind of uh, light and it's slightly pink. It's, it's very interesting. I think because of the sunrise. The sun's coming out, but it's like overcast, so it's behind all that white shit. Oh, I should go this way. That's where the lights are. The sunrise, when it's overcast and it's going through the clouds, is pretty interesting. It reminds me of... Uh, the wilderness. When I see pictures from the wilderness, I see a lot of uh, the sky looking like that. When the when it's uh, winter, anyway, like the winter landscapes, there's a lot of uh, white skies in the winter time. Because um, I guess you can do night photography in the winter pretty easily when the the sky is bright like that. So maybe that's why I would see it more. Because it's so bright outside at night um, in the winter with the snow and the the sky being white. Sometimes it's like daylight. That's what I what I really like about the snow. It um it makes a uh, Walking around at night a lot less depressing. You know, if there is snow, like usually on the roads, uh, there is not snow. It'll just be like slush or some shit. But, you know, it looks so cozy on the trees and the houses, at least. Well, the light's on now. It'll randomly turn back off again, I'm sure. That's where... Oh, it just turned off. I was going to show the swing and just to that, as I was uh, turning, the light went off again. Also, the bit rate is very, very low again. So that doesn't help. I think I've started to make less sense, not be, not well, not only because of the cold, but also because of the joint that I smoked. My brain's already fucked up, so can imagine smoking weed isn't gonna help that situation. Yeah, it really is not focusing. Like this is some shit right now. Yeah, I don't know how much of this is gonna be blurry. But also so much of it is in the darkness and you can't even tell if it is supposed to be blurry or not because it's so dark you can't see anything so kind of a win I guess you could say <laughs> I don't know I just think the the sky looks so cool like I wish it it didn't look so shitty through the camera lens because there is like a nice pink tint to it and it won't stop fucking trying to focus either. There's no glass where there's supposed to be glass covering the lens. Probably it did have a function 
But, you know, I got this data, the data plan sorted finally after months. So maybe next step, I can actually manage to go downtown and get myself a phone. A nice refurbished phone that's better than this piece of shit. How epic would that be? Looks so much better in real life. God damn. I'm just like... The pink of the sky. I feel like it's rare that I've seen that before. Because of the sunrise. It just looks really cool to me. But I've been biking around at very indecent hours all the time. Like when I go stream out by Lowe's to use their internet at like 2 in the morning. When I bike back, I I see a very cool looking sky sometimes because the sun's rising <laughs> and I'm still fucking out there. But I love being able to have those moments outside where I'm completely alone, like those hours of the morning when everyone's asleep usually this is the best time for me to be outside because I just have a very dreamlike peaceful experience and I get to explore without being bothered you know I don't have to worry about traffic or people or anything I can just zoom around it's like I own the world at that point. The world belongs to me. It's because no one else is there. It's so weird. The sky is like glowing. It's a glowing pinkish white light. It's like a very soft light. It's like a... If you have like a texture white texture over a light like um, I don't even know frosted glass or something I guess it's like frosted glass it's like someone put frosted glass over the sky and it has that light it's so strange anyway well I'm almost back now and there's no reason for me to even keep streaming anyway, because I have literally nothing to say except for, I don't know what I've been saying exactly. Like, I feel like I start sentences sometimes and I just don't finish them and then I jump to something else. I completely forgot what I was saying before. So I have no idea what this is, this is um, going to sound like if I listen back to it. <laughs> Good times. Well, we had some fun. We smoked a joint. It tasted good this time for some reason. We saw a very cool sky, or I did. And it doesn't look as cool on the lens, but it is cool. The light of God, the soft white light of God, <laughs> the soft white light of God. Good night. Oh, go to sleep. What are you doing? Go to sleep. Hello, go to bed.